Aloha, my family. Okay, so uh, I'm trying something, practicing something, uh, but I am saying that these are no longer practices. They never really have been. It's more like an aspect of the ego, like holding my own self back, like, am I ready for this? Am I ready for this? And so many of us are doing this at this point in time. And, you know, there's a lot happening. And <laughs> I have so much to say. And it's so funny because, like, that is the whole reason that this is happening right now. Like, the lesson of the day yesterday was to follow the guidance that we received and actually trust ourselves and just go with it. Like, it's something that the only way we're ever going to actually improve and embody all that we are, and it's pretty amazing who we all are, especially when you begin to remember, the only way we're going to do that is to be pushing through our own insecurities, our own judgments, our own comparisons to others, like, beloved, my family, like, to compare your growth to another is one of the most counterproductive things you can do to yourself, like, it is something, everybody has their own lessons, everybody has their own strengths, everybody is here for their own individual purpose, and it doesn't matter what DNA templates you have, like, where situations you've been put in, what experience you've had, and we are here for the same reason. We are here for the same thing. It is something that we can have as many orders, as many clubs. We can be working on a light side or a dark side, but we're in the same system and we're all a family. And it's something that right now, the true work that was needing to be done could not be done behind the scenes. It could not be done for you, for me, for anyone, because we are here to do this. Like we are a team unity. Remember, together as one, we have won. It's already happened. This victory is ours, but we are the ground crew. We are the bridge. We are the rainbow bridge that brings all of this together. Okay? So. Right now. Twenty twenty, a four foundations growth, the four pillars that are going to allow all of our family to rise from the ashes like the true phoenixes of which we all are. We've been going through this over and over and over and I promise you, my family, this is the last time, last time ever, okay? And there's so much more in store for us, I promise you, as it's been expressed to me through a mirror, you know, like, We've been in a system so long, we've become addicted to it, we've become accustomed to it. Like, think about slaves, dude. Like, think about those people that we view. We're like, oh, we've ended slavery. Something that's worse now on our planet than it's ever been before. Like, no, but they made the best of it. And they were happy for what they had, for what they received. You know, and it's something, but it wasn't until those that saw and knew that there was a better way they gave up everything for that. They dedicated everything they had for that to show that to you, to your ancestors, to our family, to the we. And it's something that this same pattern that is played out then is playing out on a large scale. Like I promise you, what you have accepted in your life like you deserve, you have, you are so much more and you have always been. And we are here to help you remember this, just like you have been there to mirror and to support, to trigger, to challenge, to set an example of everything that you have done, no matter how old or young you are, to play the roles that have been necessary to create the catalyst to create that fuel that could be dumped on our fire so when the fire was brought it was a flame so strong that it's everything and never again will this flame have ever been extinguished for so long because I promise you never not once has it actually been gone there have been those of you that have held this Many of you that are unaware at this point, but you hold the codes, you hold these fires, these flames, and they're igniting inside of you. They're igniting so strong, so bright, 
like night, night, dark, light, what? It's all one and the same. You can see everywhere because you are the light and our family needs this. Shine as bright as you can. And so that's where this message right now is coming out. Like these last couple months, are you kidding me? Like so much has happened. It's been a roller coaster. You've got to clear and release the old. You might act out in ways that you're like, why would I ever do this? Why are you doing this? You're doing this so you can let it go and never deal with it again. Your projections to others, your restrictions and limitations based on judgments and emotions and distortions in your mental and emotional body systems about who you are, about what this is is about why you're here. Duh. Nah. I get emotional because it is something that like regardless of where you're at, like this is a truth that if you're listening from your heart, you've already heard this, you know this, you feel this throughout you because you are this. Like I promise you, like yes. I, I am Azra El Melchizedek, and I am one of the team leaders for the Melchizedek Order of the Rainbow Phoenix. We have been known as the Order of the Rainbow Peacock, but now through the ashes, through a process of birth, death, and rebirth, of true resurrection, of true restoration of all that I am, that you are, that we are. And you guys. My family. Hi. Oh, yes, yes. All these, these prophecies, these discussions of rainbow warriors, of rainbow family, of rainbow tribe. That's you. That's us. That's all of us. Like, literally, 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 like, and because we represent everything, everything, every ray of creation, we represent all life in all kingdoms. Because I know a lot of you guys know that there's so much more life than just humanity, and we are all in this together. Like, there is not one family, one kingdom that can be truly free, truly liberated, truly sovereign if the rest of our family is stuck in the system. So, yes, you... Ah, we are here for the full divine liberation of everyone and the divine unity. Just remember, like, yes, 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 to those of you, to those of us that hold and embody the true blue flame, the blue flame of Azoth. Embody that. You hold it. You are it. It's raining through our system so strong. The blue ray, the ray of purity, of divine purification of all that you are, of all the I am, and the divine unity of all elemental life, of all masculine and feminine within you, for you are the divine mother, the divine father, the divine son, the divine divine daughter, the divine king, the divine queen, the divine God, the divine I am, that I am, that you are, that I am, that we are. And we're remembering this. And so it's something, as you embody the blue ray, purify all body systems, unify everything that you are as the I am, that I am, that you are. And then through that violet ray, through that violet ray, those that have held that amethyst violet ray through the amethyst orders, the violet ray orders, whatever names people have associated with these things, that ray of transmutation, of transfiguration, of divine unconditional love in the purest, truest degree that flows through. Because when you're unified with all that you are, your elemental family, the, 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 the mother, father, son, daughter, God, the best freaking homie the ultimate friend, like our true family, like when you've got that and you've embraced it, that love is so strong. Like many of you guys have felt the love of the Divine Father. Many of you have felt the love of the Divine Mother. 
<laughs> and a lot more of you guys are feeling the love of that union as it comes out and flows within and throughout each and every one of us. And this, 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 this is what works through all channels, all body systems, transmuting everything, restoring to the true divinity of all that has always been and forever shall be. And transfiguring everything, your DNA, all channels, all body systems, everything through true, true love. As this central point to all you are begins to open, open, and that true, pure, golden ray just... This opens and flows that true living light, that true light, that divine light of all life, of all true first source organic creation. Just feel it radiating, feel it as flow. Like literally as we breathe, we breathe around, but we're actually breathing in, sustaining from within, merging, unifying, alchemizing, and then whoo, ha, releasing throughout everything because we are everything. Like you, you. There is no distance other than what is perceived through your conscious perception. Like I remember in the beginning when I was like, dude, how do people tell the difference between multidimensional beings like and like just regular extraterrestrials? And then you go through all the holographic inserts and all of these various things. And it's like, dude, like every true being of the light that's on these levels, our family, you are an interdimensional being. So it's something that like this wisdom that you hold, what you receive, like dude, like so many people are like, oh, my higher self, my higher self. Do you get that you are your higher self? In fact, you're your highest self, okay? But we have lived in a world where this has been forgotten, okay? You have been led to believe a fantasy that is so much more a fan, like, sha sa sa so she did it, did it, Shana <laughs> Oh, I always say I want to keep it simple, but dude, what is simple in a world where we are all? <laughs> I'm just going to share whatever comes, whatever flows, but I do have a core purpose, something that brought me to actually wanting to share this message and just remember my rainbow family as we finish with creating complete the circle with the circles. That golden ray, that true divine light that flows through and restores all that you are. These rays, these rays, no, these rays, each one is a key, is a step in itself. Shakaya, sa ta 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 organic creation because you're a creator you know this you've known this it's just time to transmute what you've learned what you felt what you believed and embody all that you are as you know remember learning the linear expression that's why we age that's why we go through all of this but when you remember when you know what you learned is transmuted and transfigured and transformed into the multi-dimensional expression of knowing do everything with this because you are this so yes but you got to allow yourself to step out and be this like you're the only thing that's holding you back at this moment in time yeah and it's like I'm speaking to you but I'm also looking at myself on the screen pointing at myself and I'm like yep 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 because what I'm sharing with you is also for me because it's for everyone like we have things that we receive for ourselves. We also have things we receive for our family because our family needs it. But many times we have something from that that we can take and learn and embody and move forward with. 
So, sorry, some very, uh, I don't know why I'm apologizing. And during this conversation, there's points, and I'm like looking down at like the number uh, synchronicity patterns. It's like, for instance, right there, just like one, four, five, six, four, five, six, the highest number of progression you can have on the clock system in our freaking, in the system that we have chosen to be a part of, you know? Um, at least on the, the you know, because you can't have a six, seven, eight, like, I guess maybe, yeah. So, anyway. But this is why I don't even try to explain them. They're all over there. Number patterns are everywhere. But sometimes I'll like break all these out and the upload, the video will be like, or the recording will be off one or two seconds. And like, you know, so it throws them off a little bit. But it's really cool where we can see signs and verifications. And yeah, they might mean nothing. You could get spun out on something and give away too much meaning, you know? But it's something, these are all tools. And when you actually learn how to trust your heart, you see that every single thing in this reality, every person, every interaction, every experience, every Thing is literally for your highest good to help you remember to help you see something just a little bit more clearly so uh, that you can just wake up and end this <laughs> uh, so yeah so the message for me yesterday you know and it was and it came through in so many different ways though was like literally like it is time to just when you get guidance go for it yeah <laughs> Like, you know, we can create stepping stones to really trust ourselves. Like, you know, I was having so many synchronicities. I was like, oh, that's right. We were talking about the higher conversations for another time. Ah. If I say something I don't touch on, you want to hear more about it, remind me. Or maybe I'll listen to this and be reminded of myself. Or it'll just come through when the time is right. But anyway, you know, I had so many synchronicities coming through. I was like, how do I know which ones to follow? Like, what? <laughs> And uh, like, I know I'm doing what I want to do, so I've already got that in check. Well, how do I know what's supposed to follow? Like, you know, then my one brother, yeah, <laughs> you know, he uh, was doing some work, and uh, to 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 make some capital, you know, sometimes you got to step out to actually like work within the system to generate that, you know. But sometimes it can still be too much, especially for those of us that are meant to be out in the flow, meant to be helping our family, meant to be teaching, anchoring, building, growing, creating, like transmuting, transforming, embodying. so yeah they, um, you know and so he was like dude I gotta get a break he's like can you just meet up with me and like hang out for a second and so we like linked up and uh, you know and he like brought up this whole thing about the um, about you know he's like dude yeah he's like I had to do this thing where you know, if synchronicities happen in three sets of threes, you know, then it's like, yeah, I got to give some attention to that. I got to follow that. And so, you know, but I was like, dude, is it too much to ask? Sometimes the synchronicities are so profound. I was like, is it too much to ask for something like this when it comes through to happen three times in a row? And uh, it's like, nah. And I gave it a try. And sure enough, ha, dude, we're in a reality where we create our reality and everything that we need comes directly towards us. Like if you need the signs and you're looking for them, it will find you. Like, the, um, something's coming through, something's going to share. I saw some show, I think it was on Netflix or something, like a while back, and I liked that they broke out. It was, they, they called it Quest Physics. And it was something that they're like, if you set out with an intention anywhere, and you have an intention, you have a question, you have something you're seeking that you really want to know, <laughs> and you're open to whatever answer you might find, whatever it might be, Open to the fact it might be different than what you thought, or it might be exactly what you thought, or it might be way cooler than what you thought. Put all the expectations and be exactly what you need. And if you actually dedicate yourself to that journey and take in everything as a sign, as part of that journey, be like, I, I need this, I choose this, I want this, I'm doing this, go for it. And take every single thing in as a sign. Read between the lines, listen from the heart, have fun with it. Think about the most intense puzzles, games, or Rubik's Cubes, everything. Imagine something that is so profound. We can only mimic a mere aspect of it. So, like, you've got to put some thought into it. It's literally like an escape room. It's everything. Like, have some fun with it. But, yeah, with those things, it's like an equation that you are inevitably going to find what you sought out for on that quest. 
you got to persevere. There's going to be times when you might feel like giving up, when you might doubt yourself, when you might question yourself, when you might receive opposition. If you're on that quest, that's part of it. Enjoy it. Like there's a program that's being developed by a close brother called the I Am Experience. And once again, this is simply mirroring and mimicking an aspect that you are playing right now. Twenty twenty. Uh, oh wait, we're in twenty twenty as well. Okay. So 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 so. You know what? I might actually pause this. I've got something that I want to say. That the entire point of this was to start and to actually share something on a subject that is once again feeding into another system. I'm going to bring this up, but I feel like it's going to be another twenty minutes. I'm going to shave save this because I want to keep this short because the whole thing was was that like literally I personally this is for my lesson was something that like I need to just like I. Whatever. Staying on track. Okay. The threes, the threes. Yes, threes ended up working out perfectly. But guess what? Once you see, once you remember, once you know, you don't need that. Every action you take, every decision you make, when you align with this, with your true self for the highest good of all, is what's needing to be done. Is what can be done to empower someone, to empower yourself, to empower our family, to help connect dots, to bridge what we have, what we receive, what we bring from within, and to connect and express in a way that we can hear, that we can receive, that we can rebound up another, that another can mirror, to see if it makes sense, to see if it's understood, to see if they have another insight on it, okay? And so then it's like this whole thing, like multiple days, you know, something's been coming about the coronavirus. <laughs> And then, like, you know, it's just been, it's like, I'll say something, you know, and people are like, no, 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 and like, you know, and then it's like, boom, someone mirrors exactly what I was saying. And there's just these aspects that it's just growing and growing and growing, and I've got a really powerful message in regards to this that applies to everything, because it's just literally a metaphor, a blueprint, a framework that applies to the entire freaking system. I don't even worry about one thing, because one thing is just a title and a name for a fucking level of opposition that we've dealt with for freaking so long end the game you don't have to play the game the game is real and it's not real at all you're here to help people break free from this like literally like my family like we wove a prison inside of a prison with a new key so that those of you that have found this key could break yourself free and as that foundation as that artificial overlay crumbles Everything artificial crumbles and breaks free because of only the true light of all that is and has always been is the only true, real living light, the true reality, not these artificial aspects that can see so, seem so profound to your eyes and mind. But I promise you, is nothing to our true home. This light is something that is able to be admired because it is beautiful in its own right and has served a purpose. But you are a creator beyond comprehension. It was an adversary that made you doubt yourself. And beloved, it is time for you to remember. And it is something that so many of our family across this planet have awakened. And with every step, with every breath you take, with everything that's anchored, integrated, understood, released, and healed, it is our family is waking up. So this is going to be happening very, very fast. And once again, you get to choose your reality. You also get to choose if you hear away from the truth. There is no outer darkness. There is no hell, beloved. The only way you will ever find yourself in outer darkness is if you choose to put yourself there. If you see the light, if you feel the light, if you feel the truth, and you turn away from it, you push yourself into the darkness, you reject it. And guess what? That's your choice. That's your right. We are just here to show you a way that we really enjoy, that we have found. Because we know what you want, because we are you. We have experienced this. And to many of you, like the ability to live within this system, to persevere. Yeah. <laughs>
service you have provided the foundation you have woven and stabilized the morals the ethics the value the family bonds the strength and those extended family that no matter how disconnected we've been no matter where we've chosen to incarnate during these times we have found each other. We have seen past the limitations of these restrictive religions, of governments and uh, authoritative figures that claim to stand in our name, that have perverted this, that have worked to rob you of everything that you are. And those of you that have stood our family, that have stood beyond this, above this, everything you've taken on to help free our family from these chains. Thank you. Like with everything that I am, that we are, thank you. Like this cannot be expressed enough, but I promise you the time for words and talk are over. We are here. Your family are here. We are here to show you. For you are here to show yourself and we are creating the path. We are the bridge. Come have fun with us because this is everything you've wanted and you deserve it. I promise you, lay your burdens down, put your struggles aside. Join together with your family. Join together with your friends. I promise you, these trivial things that have restricted you are of the old world. They are here because you chose them, but now you have a choice to release them and free yourself. I don't know if I said in the song or if I just heard it or not. I heard something, maybe some song from it. 111 on the song behind it on the overlay. I'm seeing it says in the breathe. The song's called The Night to Remember. And uh, <laughs> it's definitely like a lifetime to remember. Um, but yeah. Well, dude. Thanks for being here, you guys, and for helping hold the space, and for being here at this time to, like, <laughs> to hold that space for allow me to express things that are built up with inside that need to find a voice, regardless of who receives this. Like, I know those of you, those of our family, um, like, that we have been in contact, even some of those that, um, okay, time for a conversation for another time. Um, right now, I just want to say thank you for everything, you guys. And it is something that, um, gotta <laughs> flow to see where so much, I was like, and it's cool because every single place that was gone, you can there build off of that, do, 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 and like, it's all the same thing. We're piecing this together as one. Um... I guess maybe I'll just go back to the very core message of what this whole thing has been, like, the reason why I finally turned this on, um, is something, I mean, even, like, my, uh, audio recorder, because I was like, maybe I'll just start doing audio recordings again, and, you know, it, <laughs> first it just, like, took all the memory off, says it's on there, then, even when I figured that out to a degree, now it just won't turn on, so I got new batteries, I'm gonna try something, but hey, 
<clears throat> enough had come through, long story short, about this coronavirus, and it was this whole aspect about, like, literally, like, after progression of multiple discussions over a couple of days, you know, it was just this aspect of, like, why even put the attention into trying to fix, change, or alter something that can have a gajillion different names? Like, step away from the drama, let's anchor what's actually needed, because when you hold this light, when you hold this truth, like, when you hold and bring in, like, the Divine Mother, of which you are, boy, girl, no. Like Divine Mother, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, everything that you, I, all of us are, yeah. You let that in, you accept yourself for everything you are, you unify that for everything you are, through the red Blu-ray of purification and union, through the violet ray of unconditional love, transformation, transfiguration, or of transmutation, transfiguration, the golden ray of true divine light, of true unity, the golden ray of transformation and embodied as the rainbow ray of creation like do you understand there is nothing there this is everything this is what you are like these things these artificial lights this system around us like like you are the creator of this and in such you have the right to navigate and to free yourself at any time that you choose <clears throat> um <laughs> Staying on the same linear thing, guidance was to end it on the subject of which I started, which is not even just what this is about, because then I was sitting over there, and there were things I needed to do, and I was sitting over there doing some dishes, about to cook my partner some food, and, uh, like, it's like 8 o'clock, we have not eaten at all today, um, uh, have not, the, um, but, you know, and then I was sitting there, I was like, hey, I'm feeling guided that maybe I'll make a recording of this, and then all of a sudden, just immediately, I was like, wait, the whole lesson yesterday, which was verified at multiple levels, was like, no, follow the guidance, like, this is what needs to happen, so I'm like, ha, 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 I'm like, all right, all right, I guess I just gotta do this, I guess I don't, I'll, I'll, Beat this thing about this and then like as it was going I was like, you know talk to my partner I was like, can you please take over food so I can just follow this? I just got to do it before I'm like, no, no, maybe I should wait. Maybe I should wait. Maybe I should see what other people say, you know um, Well, I've been doing that for a couple years now, so um, Technically, I guess this is the announcement video for stepping out as our order of the Melchizedek order of the rainbow phoenix Which is kind of funny um <laughs> story for another time but yeah and so then I had this like flow like this surging was like coming through me I was like do, 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 do. and I was like I need you to take over this but she was in her own thing she was sending a response you know to another people helping them see the truth and see the light and I was getting a little antsy and through this antsiness I started to feel this like flow seemed to like go away like and you know then I was like a little like my ego is just like oh like I don't know what's gonna say I don't know how this is gonna be maybe it is a practice but like my partner said we're done practicing like this is just what it is like everything our life has been a practice all lifetimes everything for this now present moment the focal point of our existence of everything that's going on so we can lift 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 Staying on the same point. Anyway, so I came over here and was all nervous. I didn't even know what I needed to say, what I was going to say. And it was so funny. I had a set idea of what I was going to. I was like, all right, this is going to be what I'm going to go off of. And then I sit down and look. It's been 33 minutes and 13 seconds of like pretty much everything other than that. So, um, but yeah, it's just time to share our truths. Like literally, like the time to stop talking like about what is actually going on, about what you are experiencing, about what you are feeling, about what you are receiving. Like, like never let anybody tell you to suppress your voice. Like, yes, we hold respect, but it is something that as we refine ourselves, as we heal ourselves, as we go through this process, releasing all the junk and baggage that we have picked up so we can simply embody all that we are and have always been. It is something that the light you hold, the codes you, the codes you hold, that fire, that flame is needed on every aspect of our reality, planet, existence, everywhere. And it is in so many levels that like, so much deeper than just meets the eye but we are the ground crew you are here as the ground crew to help this like these teams outside of us they are waiting on you as much as you are waiting on them this is not a one or the other an us or them it is us together as one we have one and that's the only way this is going to happen like we cannot leave anybody anything
but you're bigger than needing to feed into it. And simply by embodying love, joy, compassion, happiness, forgiveness, like these divine traits that every single person, every single one of you guys, like no matter how suppressed it has become, it has only become suppressed to that point because there are those core things that your soul needs that you have not been able to receive. And I promise you that in itself is of the old world. Like we are here in the new world where everything you need is yours and will be there provided in full. Like literally throw out any idea of limitation of what you cannot afford, what you cannot receive, what you are not worthy of because you are worthy of everything that is here for you now. And literally, if you still don't want to believe this, we will be here saying it over and over and over, doing everything we can, embodying ourselves in every way, shape, and form, so you can see the light that you truly are. So yeah, moral of the story, moral of the day, like literally throw out everything that you think about what you need or should be doing and then just simply realize you are all that you are and have all, you are everything you have wanted to be. Release all the old stuff and just trust yourself. Follow the intuition. No matter how weird it seems, no matter how out there it seems, if you can't trust yourself, start from there. Listen to this. I promise you that's the key, key, key information. Open your heart. Reconnect your heart mind as one. Like there is the simplest things. Like literally, I'm just gonna seed this right here. The simplest, simplest, simplest thing. Go directly, directly to where your heart is. Okay. Sha 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 shu no 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 ya sa ka ko 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 sha ta ta to shi ti ti a ka ki a ka ya ki a ki a ko o to 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 sha ta sha o sha 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 Place just a finger in your heart, on your heart. Just light enough to where you can feel that presence being brought there. And just close your eyes and anchor, really feel, feel from within. Anchor on love, forgiveness, or gratitude. These three, okay? These three huge keys. Whatever one you can bring up with. I literally think of the happiest moments. Think of every little point of what you truly love. You have a hard time with that? Think of the things that have been most grateful in your life. Express that gratitude. Say thank you for that gratitude. Think about why you're so grateful. Forgiveness. We can talk about so many complex things. So many, but the basics that have been taught through all of time are the basics that are needing to be known now. Love yourself, beloved. Forgive yourself. Like if you're having a hard time forgiving others, I promise you there's something inside of you that when you identify and heal, you're going to be able to help heal that and hold a space for them and hold love for all situations, for all people. It's going to be so I promise you, it can be so overwhelming at times. And there were times almost a year ago, I'm breaking almost a year ago since I had the next stage of my growth and development, something that maybe will be a story I'll be expressed later on. But there were periods in that where for days and days, like over 72 hours straight at times, I was sobbing, shaking, crying as therapy as I had all of the pain, all of the suffering, all the sadness. from our family, from you, from all of you guys. <laughs> but I like, to bring that in, and like, oh, I'm not gonna share details about this and its associations other times, but then holy cow, 
that liberation, that, oh, that freedom, that joy, that true, 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 purest divine unconditional love. I promise you when you feel this, when you remember this, everything makes sense. You remember why you were here. And this process isn't going to be easy, but I promise you there have been so many of us out here who have been doing this work and every single one of you that wakes up and chooses to do this and remembers who you are transmuting so many of this so that nobody has to go through this again. Like literally, our family, like we have taken this on for each other. Can you imagine like, the inner stand, the, the belief that one, one individual down here can take on everything? No. Remember, together as one, we have one. And this is so many layers to this. There are so many layers to this. Together as one with yourself, with the elementals. Together as one with all that you are. With your masculine and feminine self. With your divine family. With the mother, the father, the son, the daughter. You. Unified together as one with your family and family dynamics. Unified together as one in your relationship and your sacred partnership dynamics. Unified as one with your twin flames. With whatever you... Everything. Unify together as one with all family and all kingdoms. Like literally, if there is anything that you see that divides or separates from another, it is part of the distorted old world systems, okay? But, um, yeah. Like I said, there's so... I could literally sit on here and talk forever. I got like 40 hours of voice recordings from almost a year ago. That like, ha, <laughs> So, moral of the story, trust yourself, love yourself. Like, I came over decided to record this i'm so glad i did and uh maybe you're glad i did too who knows oh that's what i was talking about the heart thing ah, thanks for the reminder that's what i was tying in okay so that's what we're tying in we get the moral trust yourself just do things do whatever you need but the heart the heart this is the key open it up so it's your hip, fingers on your heart tune in on love forgiveness or gratitude anchor those feel those like literally feel them okay Sanyasata. Oh. And as you feel those emotions going through you every single time. Sorry, it's like right as I put my finger on it, I'm just like feeling it. It's like, but as you feel that into it for three minutes okay a minimum of three minutes causes an explosion of growth and transformation and transmutation throughout your entire body and body systems it's pretty crazy it begins to like boost your immune system activate telomeres like it's one of many keys to immortality because guess what Immortality is real. You are immortal, and that is what we are here. The death cycles, all of this, we are free from. We are breaking free from. It's a process. We are here to help you do this. We are doing this together. So anyway, three minutes begins this process, and it literally takes 72 hours, as little as 72 hours of being in that space to activate the heart-mind access channel. Now, be patient with yourself, beloved. Like, it took me over nine months of daily work to because you go in and out of that to actually anchor that before it opened and once it happened it took me another three almost four weeks to realize that this is finally kicked in because it was so fast and just like it's like those Bison commercials black and white no I can see finally so um yeah the uh 4411 um yeah so just to recap touch your heart tune into love gratitude or forgiveness feel that embody it really feel it three minutes begins major healing and you go for 72 hours whether that's three days that you accomplish it or whether it takes you 
freaking however long it takes. It's gonna be faster and faster than with each and every one of you to successfully do this. So, and literally, as I looked at it, it was 4440. Everybody that finishes that is 4444. <laughs> so, start with that. Be patient with yourself. Ask as many questions as possible. There's a lot happening. We're moving forward with so much. Um, I might, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this video, but I'm probably just gonna start recording. Uh, I guess I'm probably, I am going to start recording just a handful of different videos, short, long, mini series. Put them out at once so anything you feel guided or resonate with because we're literally going to take things to the most simplistic aspects and some of the most awakened in some area people who need to go back to the very, very basics and vice versa. And you know, because there are those that have no idea what's going on that are holding these portraits so profoundly, so phenomenally that like, it's just like everybody's on a different side of the spectrum and we're going to help each other get on the same page. So, now you've got this, we've got each other, and once again, in the words of the true Guardian Alliance, together as one, we have won. Remember, in the multidimensional aspects, this victory has already happened. You, I, us, our family, we are the true rainbow bridge that has been waited for. Get ready for everything that's coming your way, our way. Just remember, now that you are finally starting to remember, those that have opposed are trying to do everything they can with the limited amount of power they have. Have you doubt yourself? Beloved, this is what happened in the beginning. This is how the fall happened. This is how the infection, everything got to the point it was. Doubt. And now, and it was actually as a few months ago, what happened in the very beginning that caused this fall had directly aligned over itself. Like time, past, present, and future, all is one. Okay, never mind. Uh, conversations for another time. I love you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Thank you for this. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are excited for everything to come. Sending you all so much love, and I look forward to connecting soon. しゃかたとしゃたとしゃたとしゃたとしゃたとしゃたとしゃたとしゃたとしゃたとしゃたとしゃたとしゃたとしゃたとしゃたとしゃたとしゃたとしゃたとしゃたとしゃたとしゃた
chakras bridging and connecting with oh Papa, From my heart to yours, from our heart to all. I am so grateful to be united here with our family at this time. I am so grateful to have been able to spend this year learning, exploring, seeing, connecting, bridging, and hearing. Because when you awaken to what has been, from the state of one individual seeing the world and how is it has been, it can be so hard, it can be stressful, it can be overwhelming. But our family, Shaya Sanata Ura, we promise you, each and every one of us, each and every one of you, are positioned exactly where you need to be. And whether or not you have seen, or heard, or have met all of your family, we are here. We are back. Here we are. And watch what's unfolding. It's for you, it's for everyone. And um, so yeah, just know that any, anything, 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 
any worry. If you miss something, something's not happening or falling into other timelines, like any of that, let it go. Free yourself from it. I promise you. Remember, you help create this new world. What do you want it to be? Anything you don't want it, let it go. So, all right. Ha! <laughs> Do you remember we were talking about the five, four, five, six? I wonder what number it was, because was, it was five, four, five, six. Just a second ago, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to end this. And now it's 5505. So, yeah. Uh, from our family's heart to yours, we thank you. And uh, to all the work you're doing right now, and as we move forward, releasing all the rest of all of this, moving forward, embodying all that you are, like, we thank you. you know that all the support you need, it's here. And the channels are being opened to be made available to make their way to you. So if you want to open this up, open up what you have. Your heart, your home, your love, your resources, everything. Open it up because when we open up our channels, our family, we've already had it all. It just needs to flow. Let it flow. Everything, everything, emotions, wealth, freaking water, water cannot be restricted. This is how water gets restricted and everything gets cold. It freezes, it turns to ice. We are bringing a fire so strong through our words, through our truth, through our voice. We are the elemental air that <laughs> carries this fire everywhere. And through this, through this, we melt away. <laughs> Oh, ice. Home. Oh. And what does that do? Raises the water quotient. They're trying to fear you. Like, when I think about the fear aspects. Oh, Antarctica floods. Everything dies. Our planet floods. No, no, no. Life, life, life. Everything is alive. We are all one. As the ice melts, water can flow freely. This is emotion. This is life force. This is love. This is how we create, you guys. You You've got to free those emotions to truly create. And you've got to be in the heart so you can create what you actually want. Not the polarity aspects of the mind. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Dude, I got so much to talk about. So yeah. So as we melt and raise the water quotient, the emotions, that's why it's going to get heavy, you guys. Love yourself. Love each other. Forgive yourself. Release. Let go. Have some fun with it, dude. Joy, happiness, excitement, all of these things. These are the smoothest, graceful, most efficient, epic ways, in our humble opinion, to uh, soar through this, to do the fastest healing, to let go of everything and to embody all that you are, to maintain a flow and to anchor that light. So yeah, as the water quotient raises, you guys, there's a lot of happening is happening right now. And this is the key. As we use this to create, we earth and condense all of the elemental water into earth, into physical existence, into the new earth, to the new home. Because it is here, it is here, it is here, it is here, it is here. I don't know how to say this anymore. Literally, like, I have been showing this, I've known this for almost 13 years, almost 13 years now. And it was something in the last couple of years, I've seen it so much closely, but it wasn't until, like, New Year's. It's like, oh, what? Like, what was shown was just like, holy cow. You guys, it's here. So, um... Yeah. Anyway, we've got a lot going on, a lot moving forward. That's pretty much the simple alchemical breakdown on how we are literally breaking free of every restriction and liberating all family and all kingdoms. So this is amazing, you guys. Like literally, like give yourself the credit. Like, dude, like literally, like be proud of yourself. Like have fun with this, be stoked, but be loving, be gentle, be compassionate and just like do you right now and know that some of you guys by the way like there's points when we work with others to help actually you know to help empower them and all these things but there are a lot of us that as we're working to do this it is literally like the work we are doing inside is so important so it is something that if you are in any situation that tries to drag you into the old world systems that tries to tell you to go about things in a way different than what you have been called to do anything that tries to attack you in any way that tells you you're wrong there is no right or wrong there is weaving through layers of nonsense, of, of doubt, of insecurities, of distortions, just to embody all that we are, okay? Like, it's like, oh, like, if you had mud all over you and somebody was just like, don't even shower, don't get in my shower, like, you, you're dirty, you can't get in my shower, how are you supposed to clean yourself? No, 
Just know that dirt, that mud's gonna fall to the ground and it's going down the drain, transmuted, and you are going to be clean. And you are never gonna have to deal with these situations unless you choose to. To have fun. Go camping, go get dirty, go get ratchet, something like that. But you're never gonna be forced into these situations. Like, you are clean, you're gonna be free from that, you're gonna be free to choose your own decisions, to decide what you want to do, what you want to explore, where you want to go, what lessons you want to learn. These are no longer scripted and created or manipulated or directed for you. Like they are and they are not, but you are free from this. This is your choice. So, um, they, uh, yeah, all right. It's like 8.08, which is such a uh, perfect, dude. Get ready for this upcoming 8.08, too. Um, it's going to be the third year fully, the third cycle of something coming online that's really, really big. You guys are all aligned in this year. like So, yeah, this has been a work that's been done for eons, millennia, centuries, decades, years. Like, all of it. Like, all of them. They're one and the same. They're simultaneously going on right now. So, anyway... We're doing this. It's coming in really hot and heavy. Know that it doesn't make that it's okay. If all of this makes perfect sense or no sense in the world, um, like you've got this. So um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the support during this journey. Um, keep an eye out for everything that's coming out. But just know we're in this together, and uh, looking forward to connecting with you guys soon. Sending you so much love. saw the one one eleven was gonna end it but instead I was guided to sit here and to join together with you guys and do anchor our light our truth for all that have found this truth within themselves all that resonates with this and that wants everything spoken everything shared to be embodied in your life and our life all family free liberated unified abundant successful thriving in divine harmony, divine joy, divine bliss, divine ecstasy, divine grace, divine union. And let's anchor these in everywhere you go, everywhere you go. From now on, all code sequences, all rays of the true diamond rainbow ray of first organic source creation. The violet rays, the blue rays, the golden rays, what rays you feel called to anchor. Every, everything. Okay? Every item, every person, everything that you see in your head and in your external world. Every time that we express the words, say the words, I love you, or the words, thank you, or the words, I am grateful for this, and feel that, we bring forth our full collective, our full, purest, true, divine, family, unified, unconditional love into every item, into every being, into every heart, into every mind. Like a streak of lightning so profound, so strong, that it literally brings life and light and true resurrection to all DNA, to all cells, to all elemental life, to everything that we are. All of the love, all of the divine truth, all of the light language, all of the codes that are for the highest good of all family and all kingdoms, that are for the highest true divine light, that are for the true success of the true divine plan of all family returning home unified and restored as one. Together, we anchor this now and forever. In all time and space, sha 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 shu shu shu. In all existence, all star systems, all star families, all races, all lineages, sha 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 Shata ta ka o shata ta 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 ka ra ya to shata ta 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 to
sha 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 for all to receive, to feel, to see, to embody, to feel, to know, to become who we have always been. And now, together, we remember. And as I remember, you remember. As you remember, we remember. And as we remember, we rise from the ashes as the true phoenix, resurrected, transformed as our true divine angelic templates of all that we have always been because we are the true angelic prime creators, the true divine primordial family, unified within, remembering that as we unify within, we unify throughout, for inside is outside and outside of us is inside of us. So in the name of all that we are as our true primordial family fully restored for the highest good of all family and all kingdoms we anchor the true diamond rainbow ray of creation and the true pure unconditional love of our primordial family unified once more within and throughout all the I am and all timelines for we are the timeline of the golden age the unified timeline of all timelines and all embodiments and all realities and all kingdoms we anchor this now and forever for the highest good of all. So it be, and forever shall it be. Aho. Shalom. Namaste. I am, we are, Ubuntu, I love you guys so much, looking forward to connecting with you soon, Akaka Koshin na 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 ma, Oto to 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 to, sha 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 sha, Aloha.